All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith with God's of people here for a bear. It really does take faith to go on and go on and go on, to continue on. You have to be given that give of faith to make it through. We're going to get with the, with the definition of faith is. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of your how about Shemiah Shah, according to the Bible. What keeps us going on? Faith. <laughs> what, what keeps us pushing these videos? Faith. What keeps us fighting that good fight of faith? Faith. We fight constantly, day in and out. Day in. Because of that faith, because of that gift. That gift from your how about Shimao Shai. To make it through everything that's coming. You know what it's gonna take? Faith. Faith in what though? Faith in Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. What they gonna call God and Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter eleven verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. We're fighting for things that we haven't even seen. That takes faith. When you read a scripture that says this place is going to burn soon come. And to actually believe in it. It takes faith. To believe that an entity is going to come down soon come and Lord willing. Deliver you. From the death and destruction that's going to befall this place. It takes faith. Faith, man. That's what keeps us going on. We, we see this place about to go down. You know, like like, like the scripture says, as lightning. With all the job losses and all the chaos and all the turmoil. What gives us hope? Faith. And I got the definition. It's a noun. Faith. Complete trust. You have to have complete trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Look, we ain't seen him. We ain't seen Lord Yahweh Shai in over 2,000 years, who they eagerly call Jesus. But we got complete trust in him. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And that's our Lord and Savior, man. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. We got complete trust. Belief. Faith goes back to belief. One of the first scriptures that pop in my head is Sirach chapter 2 verse 10. Look at the gener generations of old and see. They ever any trust or either have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua and what's confounded? Or did he forsake anyone that called upon him? No. Confidence. Hope. That's what faith goes back to. Believing in something that you don't see, man. Verse 6, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, without believing in something, without having trust, without having confidence, you know, without having a strong belief in your power, complete trust, confidence in someone or something, look, without all that, it is impossible to please him. To please who? Yahweh by Shimei was shy. They call us faith based Israelites. Spookism. They look at us like we bugged out. Because we believe in something that you don't see. What well, the scriptures is telling us look, if you don't believe in something that you don't see, you, you can't please me. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So no matter how much suffering we, we go through throughout the day. You know. You're going to lose certain things in this thing of ours. But at the end all be it all. You still got to have confidence and trust in your how about Shemel Shiloh. They know what they're doing. 
That's one thing about the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. They look, they, they know exactly what they're doing. They're doing their part. Look, we got to do our part. Let us do our part. I want, I want to, matter of fact, I want to get that right quick. That's a rock that I quoted. Early in the morning through the spirit of your house, but Shemel, shall we go through what we go through? You know, we have our ups and downs, our bumps in the roads, things of that nature. But as long as that faith is in you to continue to fight, fight. The Lord is with you throughout the day. The Lord sees who's messing with you. You know, who's trying to hinder the building. You know, and the Lord going to take care of them. You just do what you got to do. The Lord see the mockers, the scoffers, the gainsayers. Continue to have faith in your have but you know, shine pray. If you lacking in faith, pray more. So Rock chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old. And all these scriptures were written for our learning. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Noah, King David, all the prophets of the Lord. Look at the generations of old. Meshach, Abednego, Shamrach, Lion, Daniel, and the Lions, then, you know, and see. The ever any trust, going right back to faith, having faith. The ever any have faith, aka trust in the Lord. And what's confounded? What's put to shame? Or did any abide in his fear? And what's forsaken? We fear you have, but Shemia was shy. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering. And very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in the time of affliction. And look, and it takes faith to believe in that scripture right there. Went to sleep having faith, woke up having faith. The gift that we can't take for granted because every Israelite don't got it. Every Israelite don't believe in the words of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are you saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So faith, which is a gift, is from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It ain't nothing that we did to receive faith. It was a gift. It was given. It could be taken. That's why you don't take faith for granted. Because once again, the majority of our people don't have faith. If you lack in faith, pray for more faith. You got a little bit of faith, pray for more faith. We're going to need it. Faith without works is dead. The Lord gave you the faith. Look, show the works. Show you how, Bashim Yahweh Shai, that you got the faith of a mustard seed. And it's going to grow. It's going to grow. You lack in faith, pray for more faith. You, you can't go to the corner store and buy faith. It has to be given to you from on high. Hey, and the people that don't got faith, hey, hey, I mean, I mean, what are we supposed to do? You won't give them faith to believe in the words that we bring out week in and week out. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing. We heard the word and automatically that faith kicked in. That didn't happen for every Israelite. All of us can contest to that. When we came to this thing of ours, you might have came in with somebody. You still around, they gone. You know? You got excited, they didn't. Why? Because that gift of faith wasn't given to him. So faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. I say, have they not heard? Have they not heard? Yes, they heard. Yes, verily. Their sound went in all the earth. Went into all the earth. And their words unto the ends of the world. So the majority of the Israelites that hear this word, when they hear it, they didn't have faith. When the word was preached, the majority of our people didn't have faith. So
So when they heard it, it really didn't mean nothing. They didn't go hard like you did. They're not they're not going hard like we are. And that, that's a that's a gift of faith. Us going hard as we do, that's faith, which is a gift from your how by Shimia Shah. We're not controlling anything. We're going right back to Hebrews, Hebrews chapter four. Verse two. Matter of fact, I started one, Hebrews chapter four, verse one. Let us therefore fear the secrets, the mysteries, the allegories, the parables, the deep dark sayings was given to us because we fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Let us therefore fear. They say promise being left us of entering into his rest. That's what we're fighting for, that rest, right? Enter into that rest. We're fighting for that, right? Any of you should seem to come short of. That's why we fear the Lord. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. We heard the gospel. Two-thirds heard the gospel. The whole world heard the gospel. But unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. The good news, but the word preached did not profit them. The people that you came in with, you stayed up, they fell asleep. You stayed in, they fell out. The word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So when they, they read the scriptures, just like you read the scriptures, they wasn't given the gift of faith to believe in it like you was. You seen the videos, they seen the videos. They heard the sound of the trumpet, you heard the sound of the trumpet. You believe they didn't. That took faith. To believe in things that you haven't seen, that takes faith, man. Faith in who? Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Can't stress that enough, man. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved. Because you're not saved yet. And everyone that shall be saved. And shall be able to escape by his works. Remember, faith without works is dead. And by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the set perils. And shall see my salvation in my land. And within my borders. For I have sanctified them. From me from the beginning. So a certain man on the face of the earth right about now. Is going to receive salvation. It was already predestined. Lord willing we of that number man. Lord willing we of that number. I just want to do something on faith man. You know. Faith is what keeps us going, Israel. Pray to you how about Shemel Shah that he take not his Holy Spirit from us. And then the things that's leading up, he's going to take, show enough some big faith to make it through. Show enough, man. But yeah, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, man. Don't, don't forget that faith, that gift. Neglect not the gift. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith where God's people here forbear. Faith shall one.